Joining us back at the start here for the Prince of Wales Challenge Cup, Thames Rowing Club in the red and the white, in the black and the yellow boat at the top of your screen versus Union Nautique de Bruxelles, Belgium on the bottom of your screen in the white, and they've just gone off the starting blocks. You're watching here the men's club quads who are going to have a com competitive cohort of athletes in this event and at the moment I'm just calling for Thames you've taken the slip there. Yeah I think the Prince of Wales this year is one of the most exciting entries that we've had in recent years. Normally dominated by Leander Club but this year entries from the Netherlands, from Brussels here, Denmark we've seen already racing but out in front at the moment Thames Rowing Club who are synonymous with success in the wide fold, the Brit, the Thames, the events for clubs but here they are stepping up all four of these athletes having won at least one of those events that I've just listed off are now ineligible to take part. So they're making a step up and uh, having a right good goal here against the crew from Belgium. Yeah, it's not every club we see massively in sculling. Sculling, uh, two oars, got an oar each hand compared to rowing, which is just one oar each. Basically, more service area to push against it. So these quads are really fast moving. They're fast powerful punchy boats we can see this is still absolutely gunning it through the start of the race as we join them here as they approach 40 which is down the middle of our course and Thames look to have sneaked out and got a bit of clear water there a couple of lengths I call it the Thames crew in black there coming past the camera yeah, a huge amount of Henley experience on board in this Thames Rowing Club crew. The bowman, Jake Brown, who won the Thames Challenge Cup in 2021, reached the visitors semi-final last year in 2022. And that's just one out of four incredible athletes on board in this Thames programme who have just got so many crews racing on the men's side of things, on the women's side of things here, uh, particularly at club level, as we've said. We're coming to you right live now. We've taken some free shots down the course, but this is live action. Great shot there, Leonard Jenkins, junior world champion in the under-19 double for New Zealand. So you've really got some pedigree here. You're seeing some absolutely elite athletes in this club men's court. And I think they're showing their pedigree here as we look at the back there, Jake Brown, the bow seat, Thames and the famous trucker caps, those red trucker caps of Thames Rowing Club. You see dotted around the place. I see them sometimes walking around Putney as well. So they're, they're quite a popular fashion accessory, but um. Jake, Thames Cup win in 2021, exactly what you're saying, forced to race into this intermediate event and doing a good job of it. Yeah, it's something they've been working on all season long, racing at Forest Heads in the quad and then most recently they've been doing doing the big summer regattas as well. They won championship quads on both days of Met Regatta, so coming into Henley red hot and dominating this crew from, from Belgium. And the Brussels crew, you saw a second there, really drop the hammer there, coming into the finish line. They've not given up the ghost here. They want to make that distance as small as possible. This is going in the history books. What is the distance at Henley? And anything can happen if we go into this last 100 metres. Great sprint for the line here by both crews. Just crossing the finish line there. And Thames managed to take the race, striking, striking down a couple of pips to be quite comfortable across the finish line and take the win at Prince of Wales Challenge Cup of the Union Nautique de Bruxelles, Belgium.